The outcry is getting louder for a controversial state representative to step down. Representative Sally Kern made comments against women and African Americans, and now many people are saying that she crossed the line. Eyewitness News Five's Wendell Edwards is live with exactly what she said. Wendell. Paul, Representative Kern is no stranger to this type of controversy. Her own words have gotten her in trouble before, and she suffered harsh criticism because of it. But today, many people that I talked to said this time her comments against women and African Americans, those comments went too far. Her back may be to the camera. Equal opportunity, not equal results. But you can hear State Representative Sally Kern loud and clear. She's debating affirmative action on the House floor, giving her theory why so many blacks are behind bars. Perhaps we need to consider, is this just because they're black that they're in prison? Or could it be because they didn't want to work hard in school? Kern goes on to talk about women and their work ethic compared to men. And she realizes herself she crossed a line. You see, women usually don't want to work as hard as a man because, I mean, now get me, wait a minute, now listen to me. Women, hang on, women uh, th tend to think a little bit more about their family, wanting to be at home more time, wanting to have a little more leisure time. That's all I mean. But by morning, the damage was done with the state leader of the NAACP showing up at her office. And I'm very concerned about her comments that she made while on the floor. The group called for Kearns' resignation. This is an outrage. We are calling for her to go today. She needs to step down. State Rep Mike Shelton wants Kern reprimanded. There is no place for those kind of comments on the floor of the Oklahoma House of Representatives or the Oklahoma State Senate. For now, though, Kern is staying put, having issued an apology. Now, Representative Kern spoke her mind back in 2008, and that got her in trouble as well. She called homosexuality worse than terrorism. That happened at a public forum. But she did issue an apology today on her Facebook page, as well as from the State House, saying that she misspoke and that last night those words do not truly reflect her spirit. Reporting live tonight from the State Capitol, Wendell I Eyewitness News 5. Wendell, thank you. The Speaker of the House, Chris Steele, disagreed with Kern's comments, but he did accept her apology.